What is my story behind cyberbullying? My story behind cyberbullying is my friends went to my other friend's birthday party and then I could not go and it was just really sad. And they all started talking a whole bunch of crap about me. And then I came to school and they were all being mean and I kind of just let it go. And then there was a status made on Facebook and I don't exactly remember what it was about, but it was horrible. And all these comments went down and I just got all sad and psycho. And then I ended up leaving school for like a week. My story behind cyberbullying is when I was in the seventh grade, I took a picture during doing a dare and it got sent around my school and it kind of left me like emotionally scarred. What is my story of high cyberbullying? Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, there is these like girls or whatever because a guy liked me and they didn't like me because he liked me because they liked him. You know, no school drama. But yeah, and it got to the point where they were like bullying me in person and like they messaged me on Facebook, like calling me ugly and they were just telling me that a whole bunch of stuff like I'm worthless, I'm not worth his time or How did I handle the cyberbullying? I pretty much just told an adult and I know a lot of kids say that if you tell an adult it's just gonna make it worse, but it actually made it a lot better. Like they got the kids to stop sending it around and it got taken off the internet and their phones. How did I handle the cyberbullying? For the most part, I ignored it. And at one point, I, <laughs> I told my mom, but she just told me to like keep ignoring them and block them. And then eventually they just like started like bullying me at school instead. <laughs> what is the difference between bullying and cyberbullying? To me, the difference between those two are bullying is more face-to-face -face and physical type stuff and like but and cyberbullying is way more online and like other people can become a part of it and tease you and be mean to you and yeah. In my opinion the difference between cyberbullying and regularly bullying is probably cyberbullying is more something that happens over phones, social media and like basically the internet and texting. The other bullying is like like, I don't want to say it's like the stereotypical stuff that you see on TV, but it's like somebody attacking you physically and somebody... Or verbally. Or verbally. Or emotionally. In my opinion, what is the difference between bullying and cyberbullying? Cyberbullying isn't really that bad for some people, I guess. For me, it wasn't that bad because it didn't last that long either. But I think... Bullying is worse because like they could actually like hurt you like physically and mentally and plus like when you tell a teacher like no one does anything about it either People suck After you were cyber bullied did you yourself cyber bully somebody? <laughs> I have never bullied anyone in any way, in any shape or form in my whole life because I think bullying is wrong and I know how it feels to be torn down and ripped to shreds emotionally and physically and it just kills everyone and yourself and it's just, it's horrible. After being cyberbullied, did I cyberbully somebody? I, I would say that I would because, or that I did because, um, it kind of made me want to hurt people the way that they hurt me. So yeah, it did. After I experienced cyberbullying, did I cyberbully myself? No, I did not because cyberbullying is not okay. And it did hurt. Words do hurt. Honestly, they do. What they said was not okay. And I don't think I could do that to anyone else because that'd just be like, I'm a hypocrite. It's just not nice. Why you gotta be so mean? Cyberbullying did not really affect my life that much. It affected my sixth grade year. I was suspended, suspended like four times within that year and I was 
locked up and it just, I don't know, I guess so that did affect my life. It just went really bad. I went crazy psycho and I got locked up. How has cyberbullying affected my life overall? Um, I would say that it kind of left me like emotionally scarred and that I didn't really want to tell anybody like the stuff that was going on because that's kind of how it started. And I didn't really want to trust anyone anymore. How did cyberbullying affect my life overall? It didn't really affect me as much, but it did hit me to a point where their words got to me, and it, I did get pretty low. Eventually, I got over it, and there's a lot of great people that helped me through it. To prevent cyberbullying, I feel if you get caught cyberbullying and it's reported or something, this person should just completely get kicked off the internet. Like, restrictions, that should be the law. If you get caught cyberbullying, you should just not be allowed on the internet. That's it, that's how it goes. Internet is for fun and music and social media. And if you ruin that for yourself, you should just not be allowed on at all. What would I change to prevent cyberbullying in the future? I'd probably make it like, so kids couldn't send offensive things, like some way, like, like some type of grid where people are monitoring it. I don't want to say that because it's kind of like creepy, but where people aren't allowed to send rude things. Kind of like cult Club Penguin. <laughs> <laughs> what I do to change cyberbullying? Um, I think, honestly, kids should understand, like, not just kids either. I think teen, more like teens and kids, yeah. They should, like, understand that cyberbullying doesn't really help anything, honestly, like. Chill. No. <laughs> like, I don't know, really. I think there should be a certain age limit to being on, like, Facebook and all that because that's, it's mostly the younger kids that are, like, doing the cyberbullying. So it's like, it needs to stop. And I think they should, like, if someone is cyberbullying, instead of the adults not doing anything, I think they should do something about it or, like, ban, like, certain words or Stay off the internet, kids.